The courtroom is largely empty as the Federal Capital Territory High Court kickstarts virtual court proceedings. Just as Peter Affen begins the day's city, as he delivers a ruling on a civil matter, the proceedings are monitored by the chief judge of the Federal Capital Territory. After the ruling, the chief judge of the Federal Capital Territory explains the reason for virtual court proceedings. We have to move along with the tide of changes. The time has come, the time has come that Nigeria has to belong to the club of nations that have embraced technology in doing so many things, not only adjudicative roles, but in all spheres of our endeavors. From a civil proceeding, Justice Hussein Baba Yusuf delivers a judgment on a criminal matter where he dismissed the suit filed by Mrs. Veronica Oloma, a former staff of the police pension fund, accused of stealing billions of naira. She filed a suit to challenge the interim forfeiture order secured against her by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. After watching the criminal proceedings, the chief judge explains that the interest of defendants in a virtual proceeding will not be affected. One of the main things that has been afflicting smooth conduct of justice delivery with promptitude is this attitude of lack of proper investment, investment into the various sectors, whether investigation, prosecutory, or adjudicatory. So we must address this. Of course, the, the, the correctional service centers are bound to be up and doing in providing standby genset, all right? Not only for the purpose of conducting proceedings, but even for the well-being of the inmates. As the courts in the federal capital territory prepare to resume fully, safety measures are being put in place as a chief judge encourages personal responsibility for everyone in order to curb the spread of the coronavirus.